Implicit differentiation, made easy. Let's first look at implicit versus explicit form. Implicit form is when y is not a function of x explicitly, which basically means that the y is not separated from the x. Explicit form is when y is expressed as a function of x, which means that the y and x are separated. When to use implicit differentiation. Let's look at this function here. It would be difficult to express y as a function of x explicitly. Whenever this is the case, we solve the problem by implicit differentiation. Differentiation with respect to x. Let's look at a couple examples. The first equation is the derivative with respect to x of x cubed. We see that we are differentiating with respect to x and we only have an x term. The variables agree. That means we can solve this using the simple power rule. The second equation is the derivative with respect to x of y cubed. The variables here disagree. That means we must solve the equation using the chain rule. We proceed as normal, however, we must include the dy by dx term after the differentiation. Example number one, we want to find the derivative of xy squared and we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So looking at this problem, it looks like we're gonna to need to use the product rule. And if you need help using the product rule, click on this link, I made a video on it. So let's begin. We're gonna start by keeping the first term the same, and then we're gonna take the derivative of the second term, which in this case is y squared. And that is gonna be added by, the second term stays the same, times the derivative of x. So looking at the first side, we can see that the x is going to stay the same. And then we also notice that our variables disagree. So that means we have to use implicit differentiation. So we begin by just using the simple power rule first, which will give us 2y. And then we have to include the dy by dx term since we have to use the chain rule there. And that is going to be added by y squared is the same, and the derivative of x is just 1. So now, what we can do is just rewrite the problem, which is going to give us 2xy dy over dx plus y squared. And that's going to be our final answer. Example number two, we want to find dy dx of this equation here. So let's start from left to right. I'm going to look at this term here and we see that the variables disagree. So if I were to take the derivative of that, we're going to have 3y squared and then we have to include dy dx at the end. Looking at the second term, it's going to give us 2y dy dx. The third term is going to be negative 5 dy dx. This term here is x squared, which agrees with uh, our other variable. So we can just simply take the derivative of that. And then the derivative of a constant is zero. What I want to do from here is isolate my dy by dx terms. So I'm going to add to x to both sides. And these terms are going to cancel. So what we have is 3y squared dy dx plus 2y dy dx minus 5 dy dx is equal to 2x. Now what I can do is I can factor out a dy dx from those three terms. So factoring out what we have left is 3y squared plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 2x. Last thing we have to do is divide this term here to both sides. When we do that, what we get is dy dx is equal to 2x divided by 3y squared plus 2y minus 5. And this is going to be our final answer.